Joining me today on NYSE Floor Talk is Stephanie Gonzalez. She's a director at BlackRock Business Consulting. Stephanie, it's wonderful to have you here. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you for having me. So Stephanie, let's start off by talking about your role at BlackRock and how you work within the Wealth Advisory Group. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm a senior practice management consultant and executive leadership coach with the BlackRock Business Consulting team. Um, and our team partners with advisory leaders um, um, across all segments and all different business platforms. And we focus on all things growth related. Um, and our team also partners very closely with the BlackRock sales partners um, and leaders across the U.S. Wealth Advisory. Um, and our intention is to help advisors, teams, firms to be able to build efficiencies in their practice, to consider growth opportunities, and also build trust with their clients, their prospects, and their teams. Stephanie, currently across the wealth ecosystem, what trends are you noticing from a perspective of clients demanding a differentiated service from wealth advisors? To put this into context, I think it's important to um, think about this great massive wealth transfer that we're seeing trillions of dollars move from one generation to the next. On top of that, we're also seeing this um, uh, trend where the money is being more concentrated, the wealth is being more and more concentrated with high net worth to ultra high net worth individuals. Um, and these clients require a unique perspective. They require um, um, uh, advisors who can help solve more complex challenges that they have. Um, and so with that, the trend that we see typically is that the number of services or choices that these clients need and require is increasing. Um, so think about it in terms of tax minimization strategies, estate planning, trust planning, education strategies. These are all front and center for these clients. Now the challenge is to offer more services, it will take more time. Uh, so that's sort of the paradox that we're seeing more advisors face. It's challenging also to build relationships with this next generation who is meant to inherit the wealth as well. So it's requiring a plan, it's requiring a shift in mindset, uh, and it's requiring um, uh, a different way of uh, addressing or approaching their practice. How are these trends changing the skill set that's needed for advisors, consultants, and market participants that are serving this new generation of wealth owners? So it's about tax minimization strategies. It's about offering diversity and access to things that not everyone can get their hands on. Um, from a broader practice perspective, the most important piece of this will be time, right? How do you scale and personalize at the same time? Well, some of the fastest growing teams, firms, and advisors that we have the privilege to work with have a very, um, very specific formula. And um, they're streamlining their investment approach. They're building business efficiencies across their practice by redefining or defining roles and responsibilities across their team. And that's allowing them to create more time to spend with their clients, to build more trusted relationships with their clients, to really understand what does retirement look like for them? What does it feel like? Um, and what are, how can they express and articulate their opinions and values in their investment approach and, and process? Um, the other piece I might suggest too is we're seeing um, advisors and teams diversify their teams. So they're rethinking the structure of their teams as they consider this next generation of investor. They, it will require them to think about diversifying, diversifying their teams across you know, women, uh, LGBTQ+, um, racially diverse teams that will allow them to really meet their clients where they are, to speak their language, to understand and honor the differences across those communities so that uh, clients can have that reassurance that not only will their wealth grow, but it will sustain through the next generation. And finally, Stephanie, what are some of the tips and mindset changes you're embedding in your wealth advisory teams to maximize the opportunity from this private wealth shift? Yeah, not dissimilar to our clients, this is going to come about with um, centering on the ideal client, really defining who it is you work with and who do you not work with. Um, and the essence of that is, again, spending time to understand what these clients truly value um, so that you're offering the right services, the right number of services and the right um, services that can address the complexity and the uniqueness of their needs. 
Um, and the other piece of this uh, that's going to be really important as you think about your idea client is who you partner with. How do you build a network that complements your expertise? And we're seeing that both internally so that we can service the, the, um, this shift in mindset and shift in practice for our clients as well. Stephanie, it's been wonderful to talk with you. Thank Thanks you. for joining me on Floor Talk today. Thank you.